Well, that's not the result I wanted. Hello everyone, Zoltan Famous here, and welcome to Reaction from a Habs Fan. Yes, I understand that this is basically LFR, but for the Habs, um, made by a Habs fan. Um, and uh, there are a couple of things that we're going to be talking about today. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get the hood out of this because uh, it's bugging me. It's bugging me. Okay. Okay. So, there are a few things to talk about um, with uh, this game um, last night with uh, the Habs and uh, Toronto. Um, um, I am also a Maple Leafs fan. I love the Leafs, have loved them for my life, and I've also loved the Habs for a long time. But I wanted the Leafs to win, but I wanted more the Habs to lose. I know that doesn't make a lot of sense, but let me let me explain. What happens in the first minute of of the game? Okay, Mark Giordano gets it right under the glove of Sam Montembo, and it was a great shot. I'll give it to Mark. It was a great shot. It was well placed, and it went in. It was great. It was great. And then only a couple of minutes later. Uh, off of a off of a, um, a dump in, I believe. I can't remember one hundred percent, but there was a little bit of a battle, and then Connor Timmins gets it through the legs of at least two Habs players and at least one Ma Maple Leaf, and it lands on the stick of Kelly Yarncroke, and Kelly Yarncroke kind of um thinks that he shouldn't have this puck because how did Connor Timmins actually manage to thread the needle so perfectly that it got on Yarn Croak's, Yarn Croak's stick and it... What? Well, I mean, I gotta give it to Montembeau. I would not have expected that one either. <laughs> but still. Here's a thing that I'm upset about. And yeah, I'm upset. I am upset. I am an upset Habs fan. And I think, whoa, and I think that that translates very well right now. I want the Habs to lose. I want them to go on a losing streak. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about it. Because they won the draft lottery last year and got, um, I can't remember how to pronounce his name, but he was the first overall pick, and he was considered one of the, he's considered to be a, the next generation of Slavic players, which is great. Yes, we want that, but he's injured, along with Cole Caulfield, and somehow they managed to win. Josh Anderson? He got in there? I I don't understand. Um, Pinard, um, he got on the score sheet. Um, and then there was the over overtime goal. And the only thing that I could think was, we want Bedard. We want Bedard. We want him on the team. And you guys are going ahead and beating the third place team in the league, the Leafs. And you're going ahead and doing that? What? Stop. Stop it. Stop. Okay. I got a hand in a Montembo. He was great this game. And so was Samsonov. I mean, Samsonov. Okay? I understand. I'm sorry. Um, he was great. Montembo was great. He was great in this game, but I kind of wanted him to falter. Eh, maybe it would have been a good idea to put Jake Allen in there. But that, at this point, I mean, the Leafs are so... <laughs> They're so doomed. They were doomed from the beginning because what have we learned? What have we learned? What have I learned as a, as a Leafs fan and watching Steve Dangle? Um, uh, every time a team is extraordinarily badly injured, they always somehow find a way to lose. Even though that their team is basically 100%. It's not like they didn't have Matthews. It's not like they didn't have Nylander. It's not like they didn't have Marner. And it's not like they didn't have 
um, Samsona, Samsonov or and Murray was available. He was right there on the ice. But how did they lose? As a Leafs fan, I wanted them to win. As a Habs fan, I wanted the Habs to lose. And they didn't. And Montembeau has been... He's been phenomenal for the team. And... But the thing is, is that we want Bedard! They have the first round pick that um, the Florida Panthers gave them. And um, they're definitely going to use that. Uh, Toronto, I still be- I, th- I believe they have a first round pick. Um, and of course, Montreal has two, two first round picks. And they, because of the fact that Florida gave them their first round pick. Uh, it's looking like. Montreal actually has a pretty good chance at getting Bedard. It's a pretty good chance. They uh they they got an answer for Carey Price in Montembeau. He's been great. Holy crap, his records are phenomenal. But we want Bedard. We do. We want Bedard. We want Fantilli. That's what we want. That's what we want. And we're not getting it. At the pace we're doing. At the pace we're going in, we're not going to get Bedard. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave a like, uh, comment, and subscribe because why the hell not? Um, by the way, an alarming amount of you guys are not subscribed while watching this. So please hit subscribe. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year. I would love to surpass 500. That would be great. If I could have your help, that would be delightful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.